Let's go ahead and create your first VM in Google Cloud and log into the VM. Let's go to Google Cloud. This is the URL. I'll have this in the description below and click on console here on top right. And in the console, you'll see a set of quick actions that has create a VM, run a query in BigQuery and so on. If you do not see this, don't worry. Just click on this icon here on top left and here click on cloud storage. Here you will see these options. Okay, my bad, it's not cloud storage, it's compute engine. Okay, I messed up, click on compute engine. And here in compute engine, you will see this create instance. Now just click on this create instance. And you can give your instance a name. I'll just write my test VM and you can choose a region you can choose the region that is closer to you and you can choose a zone I'll just leave it at as default values now you can choose a different set of VMs that is general purpose compute optimized memory optimized or storage optimized or GPUs optimized now if you know what kind of application you're going to be deploying whether it will use a lot of CPU or it will use a lot of memory or if it's just a general purpose web app you can just click on this so I'll just choose a general purpose one here and you can see the number of virtual CPUs range and memory range. Okay, now according to requirement, it can go up to 32 CPUs and up to 128 GB of RAM. And generally you see the cost here. Okay, for two vCPU and four GB of memory usage, the cost will be $24.46, 10 GB of storage safe space will be $1 and overall your cost will be $25.46 okay now you can change your VM specification from here okay I'm on E2 medium you can switch to E2 micro and the cost will be lower as you can see it's just $7.11 but this just has one core and one GB memory or you can choose E2 small this has one core and two GB of memory and it is $13 but for most situations if you're starting out two core and four GB should be good. Now just click on create and your VM is being created. So now you have your VM created and this is the internal IP. This is the external IP and you can now connect to it using SSH. So right now you will not be able to use any SSH client but you can connect to it just by coming to this portal and clicking on SSH and a new tab will open and this will connect to your VM and once you are connected to the VM you can create a user create a password and connect to it using any other SSH client or command prompt or terminal okay now if you do not want to do that you need to add an SSH key if you want to add an SSH key the link to that tutorial is in the description below now basically we have created a VM and we have connected to the VM using SSH from the browser itself if you want to learn how you can SSH into this VM without opening the browser and logging into Google Cloud check the link in the description below